Today is Pakistan's Independence Day, and we have an awesome episode here on FTD Facts. I'm going to be taking a look at five more of the best cities in Pakistan. You guys really love the first one, so if there's a city that I don't mention in this episode, you may want to check out part one first. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of FTD Facts. I'm Leroy Kenton and uh, at the end of this episode I'm going to be doing some fan shout outs. So if you guys want to be featured in an upcoming episode of FTD Facts, follow me on Instagram. The link to that is down below. Send me a picture of yourself and let me know where you're watching FTD Facts from. Also, if you love Pakistan, give this video a big thumbs up. And let's begin with our first city. That is the city of Gujranwala. Often smaller cities and countries are often pushed to the sidelines but in some cases the smaller cities can be just as important or even more beautiful than the larger ones. Gujranwala is actually a major industrial city located in Punjab Pakistan and it's the city known as the city of wrestlers because several wrestlers in the subcontinent have come from there. Gujranwala is a major center of rail, highway and river transportation but interestingly the town is safe from most of the industrial activities and pollutions that seem to take over big cities. Now, when you travel by road, it's just under two hours from Lahore, which is the capital of Punjab, and it's three hours away from Islamabad, which is the capital city of Pakistan. But in Gujranwala, the natural beauty of the city remains safe, and it has a very distinct charm that you would just have to be there to experience. Next up, we got the city of Peshawar. Now, this is one of the oldest cities in all of South Asia, so of course it had to be in this episode. Peshawar served as an entrance point into Pakistan from Afghanistan and has been strategically important for centuries. It used to be a meeting and marketing place for people in the Middle East, India, and Central Asia as well. Afghan warriors used Peshawar as a route to enter the subcontinent. Peshawar has now evolved into one of Pakistan's most ethnically and linguistically diverse cities. And when you take a look back in recent history, like in the past three decades, there has been a significant increase in urban population, in part due to internal migration of people in search for better employment opportunities, education, and services. Peshawar is the major educational, political, and business center of Khyber Tunkwa province. Now let's talk about the city of Salkot. It's Pakistan's 12th most populated city and it's part of Northeast Punjab, one of Pakistan's most highly industrialized regions. During the partition of India, Muslim refugees from India settled in the Salkot district and they assimilated with the local population. And this city is a huge inspiration in particular because despite being cut off from Kashmir, it has managed to position itself as one of Pakistan's most prosperous cities exporting up to 10% of all Pakistani exports. Now I got two more cities to look at and I really got to take a look at the city of Quetta. Quetta is the 10th largest city in Pakistan and it's best known for its beauty. And what makes Quetta so different is that it's situated 4,500 meters above the sea level. Quetta is also the capital of the province of Baluchistan and this city is known as the fruit garden of Pakistan. Why? Well. You probably figured it's all in the name. They produce a lot of fruits as well as dry fruits. In terms of location, it's located near the Pakistan-Afghanistan border and Quetta serves as a trade and communication center between the two countries. Now, when you take a look at the city, you can see that it's truly beautiful and for sure it deserves the attention of the large number of visitors that come there. They have attractions like the Hanna Lake, also the Hazar Ganji Chiltan National Park. And as a matter of fact, Hazar Ganji actually means of a thousand treasures. Also, the growing centers of education contribute to Quetta being one of the best cities in Pakistan. But to top this video off, what is considered the best city in Pakistan that people love based on the economy as well, based on the beauty of it all? That city, of course, is the city of Karachi. We've actually done two videos where we dive a lot more in detail on the city of Karachi. You can search them on our channel. But Karachi has continuously been reported as the best city in Pakistan, obviously for several reasons. But first, let me give you some background into the city. They say the city of Karachi was 
founded in the year 1729 as the settlement of Kolachi. The new settlement is said to have been named in honor of Mai Kolachi, whose son is said to have slayed a man-eating crocodile in the village after his elder brothers had already been killed by it. However, today, now called Karachi, it's the capital of Pakistan's province, Sindh. Karachi is the most populated city in Pakistan. It's also the fourth densely populated city in the world and the sixth most populous metropolitan city in the world. Karachi is the industrial and financial center of Pakistan and it's also the most cosmopolitan city. It's full of history and it's famous for its diverse cultures, its spectacular architectural heritage, and it's also famous for being the largest revenue generating city in the whole country of Pakistan. It's also one of the fastest growing cities with over 45,000 new immigrants settling into the city every single month. And for sure that contributes largely to the amount of revenue that Karachi brings in. It brings in 70% of all of Pakistan's revenue. According to the Federal Board of Revenue, Karachi generates roughly 54% of the total collections of the board, a huge chunk of which comprises of customs, duty, and sales tax on imports, mainly because of the presence of the two ports in the city. And yeah, the airport is one of the busiest in Asia. The Karachi Stock Exchange is also said to be one of the best performing stock exchanges in the world. So there you have it. That was another inside look of five more of the best cities in Pakistan. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed it and also had a great Independence Day. And as promised, I gotta hop over on Instagram to give you guys some shout outs. And since this is a special day for Pakistan, I'm just gonna be shouting out the Pakistanis that sent in photos. But that's just for this episode. So if you live in another country, don't be sad, don't cry. We'll get to your photo, okay? I promise. First up, we have Shabi Gondal. And he says, hey Leroy, I'm a huge fan of FTD facts. I love your videos. My roots are in Pakistan and I'm from Italy. My request is can you do a video of Shahid Afridi? He's a very famous Pakistani cricket player. A Pakistani Italian. That's pretty awesome. So you probably speak like Urdu and Italian as well. That's so cool. I can only speak English. I know right? But yeah we actually have done a video on Shahid Afridi. So if you missed it go watch it okay and here we have a waste he's watching all the way from pakistan and he also loves our videos but take a look at the photo in the background is is, is this really i think we found the real superman here and now we got a huge message from it's me laiba and they said you guys are doing a really great job amazing work i love to watch your videos you guys help in increasing our knowledge and the good point in your videos is that there is no negativity really appreciate your work and your efforts well done and you know thanks that means so much because in our videos we really try to just highlight a lot of the good stuff because you know when you take a look at on the news or in tv shows and stuff like that it's always focused on uh drama and just the negative side of things but hey we love to show people the positive sides of places of course you know there is some negativity and drama and controversy that we do cover on this channel but predominantly we like to take a look at the good you know but thank you so much for appreciating what we do here on this channel and our last shout out goes to Usama Chugtai and he says I'm from Pakistan and I live in Italy the second Pakistani Italian he says I like your videos but then he corrects himself and he says I love your facts videos that is so awesome from like to love we feel your love man you know just mad respects man if i could give you a hug i would give you a hug to show our appreciation and again guys if you want to be featured in an ftd facts episode it's so easy you just gotta click the link below follow me on instagram and send me a photo and let me know where you're watching ftd facts from and where are the ladies at if you are a female that watches ftd facts we'd love to get you involved on this as well अपने खून की लाली से इस मुल्क की मांग भी भर देंगे इतनी मोहब्बत इस मिट्टी से दुनिया भी हैरान दिल दिल पाकिस्तान दिल दिल पाकिस्तान दिल दिल पाकिस्तान So that's another episode in the wraps. Be sure to check out part one as well as some of our other videos on Pakistan if you want to learn more. But if not, you can also educate yourself on the various places of this world. We have a playlist for that also. And as always, stay educated and I'll see you in another video.